Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We go back a couple years to talk to this young man. He goes into the Nike hot seat, does Willie Burton. Perhaps you'll remember Willie as a subject of an ESPN E60 about two years ago. It was called Willpower. Willie Burton joins us now from his home in Louisville, Kentucky. Willie, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How about you, Scott? I'm good, man. Thanks for taking the time. I know I've enjoyed getting to know you for a while now, and and uh, I know you've graduated out of Fairdale High School. How was graduation? Oh, man, it was awesome. Like, people tell you that high, high school goes by quick, and uh, and they're not joking. It really does. Yeah. Now, you graduated there. You've, you've tasted the waters of college. Uh, yeah. And, and, and now you've taken a little bit of time to reassess which is how you and i reconnected the documentary was very successful wasn't it uh yeah hey like i'm not too sure on what too too sure on what it was but it had like over like one like how how many people viewed it it was like tons of tons of people and i was like and and, and like i couldn't believe it how did espn approach you about doing this docudrama documentary well, they actually told all my all my teammates in my school before they told me. Um, so they were like, "Hey, just, 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 just uh, don't tell him. Just, just keep it under wraps until, just until the time's right." And then, and then one day, uh, um, after wrestling, uh, my, uh, my head, uh, my head coach, he called me in there, and he was, he was like, "I got some news, but I want your dad to be the one to tell you." I want your dad to be the one to take to, to tell you to, to tell you what the good news is, and I was like, "Man, you have to tell me you've been have been smiling at me all day. I don't know what you're smiling about." Hey, but then like I get out to the car, and then my dad uh, finally tells me, and I'm just like, "Wow, I could not believe it." <laughs> so they they tell you that they want to do a documentary about you. And it's an inspirational documentary, folks. If you haven't seen it, it's called E60, Willpower. It's narrated by Dan Gable. It's the story of Willie Burton, a high school wrestler then at Louisville Fairdale, who was born differently than some of us. He was born with cerebral palsy, but he didn't let that stand in the way, didn't let it hinder his love of competition. Willie found his love of competition on the mats and the love of his teammates and the fans at Fairdale. Let's talk a bit about that because... Uh, for some folks that believe that cerebral palsy will hold them back, you didn't let it hold you back, did you? Hey, well, no, because there's some people who will use your disability as a crutch, and I don't do that. I because I don't want to be known uh, I'm as the kid in the wheelchair. I want as I want to be known as a I want to be known as uh, the wrestler. I want to be known as uh, the athlete. I don't want to be uh, uh, put in the category of of just being in a wheelchair. So you don't want to be in those categories. What about the category of an author? Uh, oh, uh, well, I have a little bit of help on that one. Hey, but I guess, hey, but I guess that would be pretty cool. But I mean, it's 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 like not just me. I have a writer, and I have a have a lot of people helping me helping me with the book and everything. So, so because of the ESPN special, which has been seen by millions. And uh, again, you can catch it on ESPN's website. We encourage you to do check out Willpower on the ESPN website. It's ESPN.go. Uh, but Willie, because of this uh, this documentary, you've been approached to write a book about not just that experience, but your life. Mm -hmm. um, is this the calling you've been waiting for? Um, Tim, I really believe it is because because I believe everybody has has has. Has something they they have have to do with have to do with uh, their life uh, that they were meant to, it, it, uh, to do from a very young age, and I believe that my calling is 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 not only to, to do this book, but to uh, be the uh, to be uh, the uh, to be the guy that people uh, that people with disabilities can look up to and be like, be, because he did it, I can do it. But what if I don't have a disability? Can I still look up to you? Hey, hey, well, even if you don't have a disability, I want people to be able to watch my uh, him a documentary and uh, maybe the job they were too afraid to go after or the, uh, 
to him or the, him or the girl, they were too afraid to talk to her, or just whatever. Just I hope that it inspires them and helps them to be able to reach their goals. Now, you're a good-looking guy. I'm sure the girls are probably knocking down the door and calling you on the phone and won't leave you alone. Is that true or not? Uh, I don't know about that. I've had, I had a couple girlfriends uh, here and there, but I mean, hey, but, I mean, you know, I'm pretty good with the ladies. I give them him, 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 I let him hang out on my lap, you know. Uh, I see. Take him for a little ride in my wheelchair, you know. <laughs> I love you, Will. You know that. Uh, motivational speaker. Now, yeah. given the fact that you do stutter, and yeah. you and I, you and I joke about this, it is something you live with, and uh, you have trouble saying, for example, numbers. If I asked you to give me your phone number, it's going to take you a little while. That's so, so, so what did I tell you? I told you to put it in a sentence. Don't let the numbers hang out there by themselves. Put it in a sentence because then your mouth is already moving and you don't even think about talking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Being a motivational speaker would perhaps present its own special challenges mm -hmm. just in the fact that you do stutter, but there are tons of folks out there that have stuttering problems that don't have CP. So this perhaps yeah. would give uh, some folks some... Uh, inspiration uh, mm -hmm. in the in the idea that hey here's a young man that's battling you know on a couple different uh, fronts yes. you know the, the front of life the front of CP the the you know the, the battling on the front of uh, speech impairment or speech impediment however you wish to look at it but really God has put you here uh, yes. you feel to be an inspiration to others mm -hmm. because he has watching over me. Uh, I would believe that that that, that Jesus Christ has, has a my life. He knows where he he wants his life. And, he, he, and right now he has me right here, here here talking to you. Yeah. Now, Chris, I want to thank Chris Decker, your cousin, for I I think he hung out last night, right? Yeah, he helps me all the time. Like, it's like my it's like my mom has to go somewhere or. Or, uh, or, 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 like I need help. He lives a couple houses away, and he just walks right over here, and he, and he, and he um helps me all the time. Yes. Well, shout out to Chris Decker, man. That's he's a cool cat. Um, so, you want to you want to let people know that you're out there and available for motivational speaker engagements. You're yeah. writing a book. Where are you at on the on the book, by the way? Uh, we just now completed all. We just now completed all the interviewing. Like he talked to me, talked to my mom, and all that, and we're and we're just now beginning to actually write the book. Okay, so you've done perhaps the outline. Mm -hmm. Have we done? Have, have we done? Have we done like we done like all the interviewing and all that, and then uh, uh, we have the basis right now. Okay. So the basis for the book is 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 written. Now we need to get down to the nitty gritty. And who is it you said was uh, uh, writing with you? Uh, and this one guy. His, his name's his name's um his name's a uh, him 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 his name's um uh, it's, it's his name's a uh, his name's a uh, Barry Kinzel. Barry, okay. And he has two books out already, and they're and they're very successful. One, his first one, his first his first one is called his first one is called uh, the Crossing. And uh, it, and it's won twelve uh, national awards. So wow, yeah. Okay, so this is the thing that I find inspirational. Again, folks, we're talking with Willie Burton. He was the subject of an E uh, sixty uh, special on ESPN. And for those of you who know, there's uh, there's a couple that I'm involved with, and this is one that I just absolutely love. This young man lives in Louisville, Kentucky. It was just two years ago where he crossed the stage at Fairdale High and got his diploma. Let's talk a little bit about the the uh, the career in wrestling. You okay. didn't necessarily have the most wins, but you had one of the greatest experiences. Can you talk about your experience as a high school wrestler? Hey, well, just like what. Hey, just like, just like what you just told me, I didn't have the most wins, but I, but I wasn't wrestling enough for the wins. I was wrestling to be an inspiration, and I was wrestling because because you know once you wrestle, it becomes more than just uh, more than just that you're on a wrestling team. It becomes a brotherhood, and 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 uh, that's and uh, that's something I'll always t uh, take away from my time wrestling is because all those guys uh, became my brothers. 
Now, that was very evident in the uh, ESPN piece because what happened is that, folks, here, let me describe a match to you. Before you go watch this this ESPN uh, E60, the willpower uh, narrated by Dan Gable, the story of Willie Burton, Willie will get taken down to the mat, and then from his knees and hands, he will crawl to the center of the mat. The referee will start the match, and for whatever reason, your camera went off, Willie. Let's see if we can get your camera turned back on. But the referee will start the match, and then you must always start from bottom. The opportunity, and I shouldn't say always, but primarily, uh, and then you, the opportunity for you to advance is all upper body strength, right? Uh, yeah, it's all upper body, yeah. So you won one match. And tell, tell, the, tell the viewers, tell the listeners exactly how you won that match. So, well, so we were tied going in, and we had like 10 seconds, 10 seconds left in the match. And I was like, man, I got 10 seconds left. This is my last match at home. And I was like, to be honest with you, I was like, I, this cannot go into overtime because I'm too tired and I don't feel like wrestling anymore. I was like, hey, why don't I just go? Why don't I just go? I want, I want, I want to go for a cradle because that was like my go-to move because because it was all upper body. Right. Hey, him. So then I got the leg and then I got the head, and it took me like five seconds, like just to like squeeze my hands together. And so then by that time we only had just a few, just a few moments left, and I just. Tilted back, tilted back, and I just got the two, uh, two back points, and I won. So that's how you won your match. And at that moment, what was the response of the crowd? What was the response of your team? And prior to that, could could you hear your team yelling at you? Oh, to be honest, it was just a blur to me when I was wrestling. Like when I was wrestling, I like all I could, could hear in my head was just like, oh, 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 "What move do I do next? To what move do I do?" What move did I do? And like, but but then after I had won and I got my hand raised, it's like I came back to the earth and I was like heard all the cheering and screaming, and 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 then after I got my hand raised, I crawled over to my teammates and they all jumped on top of me and and we were all screaming and I'll have 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 that in my memory for a long time because it was one of the best moments of my life. So they jumped on you. They did a dog pile on top of you, and you're thinking you're laying down at the bottom. I can't breathe. I can't. Breathe. Yeah. Hey, Boston, get off me! I just had a had 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 like a five minute match here. Get off me! <laughs> but your coaches uh, were so proud of you, and then that was your last home dual meet. Mm -hmm. What was your What was your next match? After that, we had one more tournament. One more tournament, and we and we and we had um, a regional, which is the which you have to lose twice to be eliminated. And, of course, by that time, ESPN had already heard about me. And, of course, of course, their camera crew would, um, came to regionals and, and, and they were all up trying to talk to me, trying to, they, were, they were trying to interview me and all that. And, and it was just a crazy day. Crazy day. How did you do in that first match? In the first match, I would have done pretty well, but... Uh, he he just he just he just caught me in a bad spot, and and, and he ended up beating me. Do you remember what the time of the match was? Uh, we were about to be. We had like five seconds left. We had five seconds left of the um, first period. It was close to, uh, to being out of the first period. Okay, and how did the second match go? The second match was only about like um, I think forty. I think he tells you on the documentary about a forty. Seconds and you beat me. Forty seconds. Yeah. Was that was that your final competitive match in high school? That was my that was my very last match uh, that I ever had in high school. Yes. What did your mom and dad say to you after your final competitive match? Hey, well, it was actually pretty cool because you know how wrestling tournaments work. Like, it's like while other matches are going on, like uh, the announcer will be like, "Okay, over here on match two, we'll have 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 this guy and uh, this guy." And, and, and they'll keep wrestling. But after my match, the whole crowd just paused and like they were all clapping. And 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 they didn't call for any more matches until after I got off of the mat. It, it, it just like out of respect uh, for me. And then 
of course, after the match, I was crying and everything. And what was that about? What, why were you crying? I was crying because wrestling was my whole life. And for it to all just uh, uh, come to an end uh, that quick, I just couldn't... I just couldn't deal with it because, because, because wrestling was my whole life. How many matches total for you? Uh, well, from my freshman year all the way to my last year, and and let's just say, I I probably wrestled over a hundred matches. Over a hundred matches. Yeah. And you got one win. Gable said that uh, he wrestled his entire career, and never lost except but once. Yeah. And he said. And then Willie's wrestled his entire career and only won but once. He said, wins and losses don't define us. He said, but the sport, that brotherhood, yeah. the, the sense of facing, you know, facing the world. Um, hey, that's what I like about wrestling is that, it, it, is that when you're out on the mat, it's not about handicapped or walking or black or white. Uh, 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 when you're out on the mat, it's just about... It's just about just about just about just about uh, two wrestlers, and you're both equal. Equal, equal, equal in heart. I tell you what, you got a big one, dude. You're one of my faves, and uh, yeah. Willie, I know we're going to be friends for a while, fans. If you're interested in uh, talking with Willie about a motivational speaker engagement for your church, your team, your school, whatever, and I do believe it's in God's plan for this young man to do just that. Uh, we invite you to get a hold of him at his Gmail account. It's Willie K Y Burton. It's Willie K Y Burton at gmail.com. So that's at gmail.com. Willie K Y Burton at gmail.com. You can also find him on Facebook as well. Heck, if anything, just uh, be a friend on Facebook and com communicate with him that way. I think you'll be fascinated by this young man's life as I am. And uh, remember, disability, I think, is in the eye of the beholder. It's not necessarily in the individual that has a disability. Willie will prove that out to you. And you can say, are you still, what are you competing in? How are you staying in shape, Willie? Well, right now, I'm, I'm doing some Kimba Jiu Jitsu. And, and, and that's really cool because it's just like wrestling, but, but, you, get to, but you get to grab people around the neck. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Willie, what do you want to tell the fans that have watched this thing and have watched it over and over again? I'm one of those guys. What do you want to tell them? Um, well, first I want to ask him, 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 do I look good? Uh, first of all. <laughs> and second of all, I just want to tell him that I hope, it, 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 that even if it's a small little bit, I hope that watching my video was it just, it just, it just gave them an inspiration, and I hope that it helps helps them be able to reach uh, their goals and what they want to do with 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 uh, their life, uh, whether that's wrestling or school or, or, or just whatever. To train for wrestling, you actually took your chair onto a track that said "No wheel vehicles, no no strollers, no walkers." Oh uh, I mean, yeah, I was breaking the rules. I was a rule breaker. You were a re you were a renegade, dude. Yeah. yeah. Track. But it helped you get that upper body strength mm -hmm. that you possess to this day. Yeah. And I don't know how many miles you went around that track or, you know, how often you did it. But do you, do you know what that answer is? Uh, I would usually try to go at least a, a two or two and a half times around, which would be like half, 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 half of a mile to a mile. And, and like I said, I want to tell you like one time, because I would usually wear gloves. Because if I didn't wear gloves, like my hands would be ripped up. And but one time I had forgotten my gloves, and uh, and my coach was like, "Well, I guess you can uh, watch us." So, uh, and but while we run, and I said, "No, this is my." And I said, "This is my wrestling team." And he said, "Are you sure you want to push?" And 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 I told him I did. I said, I got to be my. I told him I got to be with my teammates. And then by the time I got done. I had huge blisters all over my hands, but I <laughs> hey, hey, like I didn't want to quit. Right. Yeah. And no excuses, man. Right. Uh, uh, and like that's what I would tell my teammates, cause like we'd be in the wrestling room, and like they get a little, they get a little like they get a little cut or a bruise on them, and they'd be like, "Oh, I have to take a break." I'm like, "Come on, man, I'm out here. you been giving it all I have out here, and I can't even use my legs." And, and then you're taking a break over a little uh, scratch or cut. 
<laughs> Willie, we love you, buddy. <laughs> I love you too, Scott. I love you too. Nike hot seat. Not too uncomfortable. Not. Um, is, it's a little warm. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you're going to keep me updated on the book, right? Hey, of course I will. Okay. But of course, you have to, have to pay money for it. I'm not going to give it to you for free. You know? <laughs> I would hope you wouldn't, but I will tell you this. As soon as uh, we get to that stage and we know when it's going to be released, we'll be happy to help promote you at no charge. How about that? Okay. okay. And that's really good. I, and I got to appreciate that help, too. You're not doing that Pokemon Go thing, are you? I played a little bit. Uh -huh. Hey, but, but I'm not like most people. I'm not going to be out there in my wheelchair rolling down the highway trying to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> oh man Willie I love you and I do appreciate the time today man Fairdale High treated you well and yeah. you did the same thing uh, it could have gone uh, completely different than you made it and that shows why the ESPN folks entitled the, the piece Willpower it's the ESPN 60 a couple years ago but you can find it online uh, the young man is out of Louisville, Kentucky. If he hasn't won your heart over today, he soon will. Willie Burton, it's always good to talk to you, pal. Thanks to our good friend Dan Gable. You got to meet Gable, right? Hey, I got to go to his 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 uh, house and uh, hold his gold medal, which was pretty cool. How was that? Ah, oh, man, it was awesome. Did Did he have to tell you when it was time to leave, or did you go ahead and go uh, when it was time to go? I don't know. Trust, trust me, I would have moved in if I could have. He, he told me I had to get out, so I had to get out. Oh, man. I got to end this conversation, man. We're we're about uh, seven minutes over time. Oh, man. I know. Hey, 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 hey well, just be quiet and quit asking me questions. And <laughs> You just want to go to lunch, man. I know you. Oh, you're keeping me from my lunch, you know? <laughs> if that's when I wrestled, that'd be... If I was trying to cut weight, that's one thing. I don't wrestle anymore. I, I don't have to cut weight. I'm going to eat a big lunch. <laughs> Willie Burton, we talk to you soon. I appreciate you being our guest in the Nike hot seat today. Oh, uh, uh, trust me. It was all my honor. Fans, look for him online. Willie K. Burton. Excuse me, Willie K. Y. Burton at gmail.com. That's where you can get a hold of him. Also on Facebook, just search for Willie Burton in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Scott Casper, our special guest, Willie Burton. We appreciate you watching.